Boosting has been rapidly growing in old school RuneScape, but be very careful if you are in this specific Discord because it has completely been compromised. Basically, D and G boosting was the most popular one in old school RuneScape. And I even previously promoted it on this channel and tons of you guys have been using their service, but I do not recommend them anymore because the original creators and the main admins have all been kicked from the server because one of the admins completely went rogue and they were already starting to see a few red flags, him saying that they should take out the competition by paying people to delete some other servers so that they would be the only boosting service around and get a lot more customers. And the other admins started to get very worried, so they had a vote and everyone voted that this guy would still work on the server but not actually be in the public eye because he was starting to affect their reputation. Well, this guy was not very happy with that, so he completely went rogue and hijacked the entire server, kicked all of them out, and after seven months of making no GP as profit. They were finally actually starting to make GP, but now this guy has kicked them all out and is going to be taking it all for himself, even though they were paying him GP along the entire journey. And this Ralph character kicked all of the admins, but also a whole bunch of other staff members from the server who he quickly filled with brand new rot members to take on their roles. And the old admins of the server are strongly advising that no one interact with the server because then not only will you be helping this guy out who completely scammed them of their server, but it'll also be for the safety of your own account because they believe there'll be a lot of real world trade going on in that server now. And if you're connected by giving them some GP, it could affect your account. And this is not a paid segment by any means. I just feel really bad for the guys who work so hard to build this server up to get it taken from under their feet. And they have opened up a brand new boosting server that I've linked down below. OS Boosting. Go join that if you need anything done. And it seems a lot of people have left that DNG server as soon as they found out that the ownership had been hijacked. And one streamer that we all know and love is Coxie, and he was using it a lot on his grind to getting all the pets extremely quickly. He left very quickly, and it looks like a few other streamers may be doing the same once they realize what happened, but just be very careful if you are boosting. The entire community saw Fuse famously die to a PK about a month ago. He already had a backup maxed hardcore, but this man cannot simply play on one hardcore at once, so he also made a one defense hardcore Iron Man. And keep that in mind when I tell you he instinctively decided to do his weekly Tears of Guthics. So after a little while of gathering tears, he suddenly realized that this is going to go straight to defense XP, so he quickly did the first thing he thought of. <laughs> Good luck, man. Okay. Oh my god, wait, Demon's XP. Wait! Oh no. Oh no, did I just break up? Lol. Lol. No! Lol. Oh Lol. my god, I'm an Lol. idiot. Lol. I'm an idiot. I'm an <laughs> idiot. not real. I'm an idiot. Oh no. I made a Jason. big mistake. I made a big mistake. His friend thought it was absolutely hilarious, but what a random tears mechanic. If you press log out, it instantly walks you out, you get the XP, and then your account stalls to log out. Fuse stated to me in hindsight, if that didn't walk him out, he would have been able to gather a bunch of the green wall to lower his tears down to zero, so he would get absolutely zero XP from the mini game. But that is just such a strange mechanic. It doesn't let you you log out because then you could continually do tiers to try and get the max amount every single week. But it looks like it's another account ruined for Fuse. You may remember almost a month ago, I gave Olive a little bit of heat because he got the Gilded Spear on his Iron Man and I stated in a video, if he would alk it, I would give him $100. And we did see the clip of the man alking it, but it only crossed my mind just the other day that I completely forgot to pay the man, so I had to swoop into his stream while he was live. Holy sh**. Behemoth? Bro, I literally jumped out of my skin. There it is. <laughs> nah, nah, I would've, I would've eventually reminded you, you know, maybe like a couple months down the road. After all this, um, a highlight channel drama, you know, goes away. <laughs> $120, by the way. Give me an extra 20. Wait, why? The deal was 100. Thank you so much, man. What you can currently see on the screen is Stevie finishing off his second Jad, but unfortunately died at the exact same time on both of the runs, so he still had no fire cape. He had to try and send it for a third time, and he's getting Jad very close. <laughs>
literally flexing on them haters this man brings some amazing energy but at 3kc he has died at the end of the fight all three times and this is when he realized I've seen it happen once, possibly even twice, but I've certainly never seen 3K see it, Jad, without one single fire cape to show from it. Tell me it won't happen a fourth. Yes! Yes! No more deaths! Stevie sat on some very high HP. He was not missing out on the cape for a fourth Jad KC, but sitting on high HP is something that the donator was not very worried about while fighting this guy at Bounty Hunter. Hello, seducers. I've been screaming at my monitor for the past 25 minutes of the stream. I promise you, we haven't ever had a one song play. This is straight just angry mode. Just spec me, bro. Ask and you shall receive. Prison Joe was rocking out on his stream and here he is in his 2006 Honda Civic. Some of you may already know the streamer that Whale is cosplaying as, but if you don't, see if you can guess it. Hey, hey, I'm pulling my balls out here hey hey what's the big idea hey i'm six safe it's me your boy six safe for max ultimate iron man i'm walking here so he was at next on his hardcore and he got very worried when this happened hey, fuck. oh my god i just got disconnected telling me 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 what the just happened now if he was still logged in game his friends would have been able to quickly teleport him out a massive new addition to the game but fortunately enough for soy juro he got six hour log so his account instantly left next getting the clip ready i mean if it's dead i'm quitting this game that's for sure all right we're good he was a little bit worried at first when he logged back in. He would be in the room, but you log in outside the next room and he was completely safe. The hardcore still intact. Some sneaky bugger titled this one Behemoth and it's Defy having a very tricky time in game like usual. I can't believe he's done me like this, dude. Let me out. Alright, so you can kill yourself with that. I just learnt. Um, I just real I didn't realize you could kill yourself with that. Um, I just thought, oh, mm. And can you believe that actually ended up being the second most viewed clip for the day? But while the streamers are dying, let's check out this one. Yep. Many cannot believe it. Mammal has done the unthinkable and actually beaten Monkey Madness 2 on the group hardcore Iron Man account. But look what happened at Demonics. Bye, have a great time. I'm sure these clips are going to get old sooner or later. But at the moment, I'm still loving seeing the streamer's reaction. But Mammal wasn't the only one. What happened? Oh my god, it's the AFK thing. Oh, <laughs> the poison ticked. The poison ticked, so the AFK thing activated. <laughs> Beware, if you love old school RuneScape and are easily triggered, you might want to look away for this next clip. Like, RuneScape 3 is truly the best. Better graphics, better people. Like, everyone in here sucks. Like, RS3, there's better graphics, better people. Like, I just rather spend my time over there. You know what I'm saying, Chad? Do you feel the same way? RS3 for life. <laughs> And you can hear her have a little laugh at the end, so don't get too triggered. She's just having a joke. No one actually thinks that RuneScape 3 is any good. A big congrats to Anicon, who has just finished off his 2,000th challenge mode at Cox. Clicks, congrats on the dust, mate. Big 2k, no loot. Unlucky. Might be onto something there, bro. What the f- Wait, 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 guys. How the f- did my super restore get on the roof? That super restore was yeeted straight to the ceiling. Apparently, if you drop it on the square that the statue's going to appear on, it just goes poof straight up to the roof. <laughs> Ringo lost his hardcore status about a month ago, so he's been rushing this one to try and take it straight back to TOA. 
Okay, here it is. On a Hardcore Iron Man. I have unlocked TOA in four days and nine hours. Now we just got to go clear it. Four days and nine hours playtime sounds pretty quick to me. I'm pretty sure a cold one could get the Grandmaster task done in that time. But let's see how Ringo went getting his first ever KC. <laughs> let's go. It is done. Four days, 16 hours. And I'm not sure if anyone has actually tried, but I'm pretty sure that's the fastest time to ever complete a TOA run on a brand new hardcore. We know Flompool loves the rhyming streams. Well, this man is back. This time he is sending Ziliana while dressed up as a banana. What happened? We leave you alone for like an hour and... <laughs> what? Carolyn, I'm a 27 and 9 tenths of a year old adult male. Six foot a billion. Dude, I'm actually sweating so much in this I know. thing. It does smell like sweat. <laughs> it smells like gamer sweat was the first thing I noticed. And he sent me a whole bunch of banana jokes that were far too bad to play on stream, but this one did make me laugh. Wait, hold on. Yellow! <laughs> do you get it? Because the... Do you get it? Are you colorblind? And if that joke made you hate Flomple a little bit more, make sure you drop a like on this video and I'll see you legends tomorrow.